This video demonstrates how to use your Casio FX CG20 calculator to calculate product moment correlation coefficients and also lines of best fit or lines of regression. Uh, we've got a split screen here. We've got the left hand side shows the keys from the calculator and the right hand side shows the key, the screen. So I hope that's not too confusing. The first thing you need to do is to go into the statistics menu. So that's menu two. You can either scroll around using the cursor or just press the number two. Uh, and you'll see that I've already entered some data in here. I've actually entered 10 data values for the height of a group of students. So you can see it goes down to 10 there, uh, mostly in centimeters. Um, in the next column, I've measured their arm span and entered that data. You can see I've got uh, headings here that tell me what each column contains, the data each column contains. Just to show you how to do that, scroll up to the empty square at the top and then you're going to type using the red letters, the red alphabet keyboard on your calculator screen. If you're going to type a few letters, the best thing to do is to put the alpha lock on, which you can see here. So press shift and then alpha. You'll notice that your calculator screen has the red A symbol and a little padlock next to it to show you on alpha lock. And then we can type arm span. There's a limit of six characters, so I'm just going to type A R M S P N for arm span um, and EXE to enter that. So you can see I've got the headings there now. So I've got my two titles and my data. Uh, I'm now going to look at how I can graph that. To plot a scatter graph of the data, you're going to use the function keys. And function 1 here says graph, so we'll just press the function 1 key, and you'll notice you've got graph 1, graph 2, graph 3. You're allowed to store up to three different types of graph. We're going to plot graph 1, but we need to check the setup first. So we'll go to F6 set, and we'll have a look here. So it says statistics graph 1. If I wanted to change the others, I've got graph 2 and graph 3 on the bottom, but I've got graph 1. It already says I've got a scatter graph. There's a list of the other types of graph you can plot there. And we've got the data, the x list, the data, the x axis values are in list 1, and the y axis values are in list 2. Um, frequency should be set to 1. Uh, you can change the mark type if you like, and you can change the color, and there's a few other options about the appearance that you can change. But once we've set that, we'll just click the XE and go back to our data so we know our graph 1 is set up correctly. And if we press F1, we will have a scatter graph of the data. It's not great, it's a simple visual as you can see the axes aren't as good as you'd expect from uh, laptop based software or graphing packages, but at least you can have a look at the general pattern of the data. And we can see that we've got a positive correlation, reasonably strong positive correlation in our values there. The real power of the calculator comes in the calculations it can do with this data though rather than the graphing. So we're going to be able to calculate the equation of the line of best fit or the regression equation and we're also going to calculate the correlation coefficient. So the first thing we do is go to Calc F1 and we're left with our regression options here. So X is just for a linear model, we've got quadratic models, cubic models and others if we scroll along. But we're going to go for X, F2. Incidentally, the fact that X is white on black means that there's another set of menus is going to come up before we actually do anything. So we press that and we get the option to have the form AX plus B or A plus BX. This is really just a cosmetic thing. It'll be the same equation either way around. Uh, we'll go for AX plus B. And here is our regression equation. Uh, the equation is of the form AX plus B where A is 0 0.9356337 and B is 9.1. Or um, the value of R here is the correlation coefficient. So we've got a correlation coefficient in R of 0 0.8436, etc., um, which is indeed quite a strong correl positive correlation as we expected from looking at the graph. Now that we have the regression equation, there's a couple of things we can do with it. These are offered on the menu options here, copy F5 and draw F6. We're going to do copy first. What that's going to do is put this regression equation AX plus B with these parameters for A and B into our graphing mode on the calculator. So I'll just press F5 to copy. And we've gone into graphing function here. Um, and if we press EXE, it gets stored, but it just takes us straight back to our 
regression equation page, but we'll come back to the graph later. Uh, and now we can draw it. So if we press, press F6, you've got the regression equation there, the line of best fit drawn on your graph, and you can see how it compares to the data values. That's quite useful for a visual. Um, if you want to take a screenshot of that, you can do so if, if you're using the emulator. This button at the top that will allow you to do that. Um, but the interesting thing now is if we go back to our graph menu option, so menu and 5 for graph, then we have the equation entered here. Um, it's entered quite a few decimal places, as you can see, and um, probably more than we really need, and certainly more than we've got to write down. Um, but that should give us something fairly precise anyway. We're going to plot that graph. Um, let's just store it there. And you can see now it's highlighted. Because I went into it, it was highlighted to select it. Initially, it won't be. So you'll need to press F1 to select it. It'll initially look like that. Um, so if we go up, F1 will select it. And you'll see now the equal sign is highlighted. So it will now plot it. And if we click on F6 to draw the graph, that's not terribly helpful. But of course, we've now got all the GSOL features available that allow us to use our line of best fit to estimate results. So if we go on to shift G solve and scroll along using F6, we can do X calculations and Y calculations by putting in values for either the height or arm span and seeing what comparable values our line of regression line of best fit will give us.